My daughter was a year old when I started using. A year into my addiction, I contracted hepatitis C. I got it through using a dirty spoon and dirty water. I had my own needle, but it was through the spoon and water I got it. And um, when I found out I had hepatitis C, I felt like I was the dirtiest. I felt like it was a death sentence. I felt like my life was over. I knew I had hepatitis C before the liver health event. It was something that I didn't want to admit that I had, so I kept it back here all the time. But how I learned about the treatment was attending the liver health event and knowing that there was a cure, I was hopeful and I was determined to treat my hepatitis C. When I'd go see the nurses at the clinic, like uh, Tanis and Vanessa and Noreen, they were very welcoming. Somehow they made me feel relaxed enough where I was able to answer personal questions and not avoid them. So it was a very comfortable, calming place to go. They helped in so many ways. I think it was the last day of my treatment. I got called in and uh, Vanessa was, <laughs> she was so excited to tell me. It was just unreal. She sat me down and she said, you're cleared. You're cleared, your uh, viral load is not detected. I wanted to scream, I wanted to dance. It was an amazing time in my life. My children smiled and they gave me a hug and we cried. It was, uh, it was a really good time. Since being cured of hepatitis C, it just gave me more of a boost to spread that message that there is a cure and you can live without it. It's made a big, a big impact on my life.